President William Ruto has expounded his decision to back former Prime Minister Rayla Odinga for the African Union Commission chairperson role for the first time since the duo met in Uganda on Monday, February 26. Speaking during the investment conference in Homer Bay County on Tuesday, February 27, Ruto reminded the residents that he had always drafted a plan to unite the nation after the controversial 2027 presidential election. He asserted that no Kenyan ought to be excluded from government despite the outcome of the polls. The deal agreed upon in Uganda while the duo was hosted by President Yoweri Museveni encompassed Ruto's promise to the nation. This was the first time Ruto was commenting on Rayla's bid for the AU job publicly. Rayla, on Monday, lauded Ruto and Museveni for backing his bid, and at the same time recognized his perennial nemesis as the president of Kenya. When I came for the campaigns, <clears throat> I slept here. I am, I am probably the only uh, presidential candidate in independent Kenya, who does not come from this region, who came and campaigned and slept in Omabe. And there are things I told you guys, and you thought it was a joke. Now you can see it is not a joke. Sendio. Niliwaambia tutapanga maneno kabisa na hakuna mtu atakuwa loser kwa hii kitu. Tutapanga ndio kila mtu apate ka sehemu kidogo ndio tuende mbele. Sindio? Sinilisema pale pale kwa soko. Eh, amuku niamini siku hiyo lakini sasa maneno inaendelea namna hiyo. So, na tunaomba Mungu ikae namna hiyo. Because I remember very well, I told you that time that uh, we we want to unify the country. We want to work together towards the unity of Kenya. And that is important to all of us. You know, and and there is space for all of us in Kenya. You do not win by making others lose. We want a win-win outcome for all of us. We all want to be winners because those in the opposition must mean well for Kenya. Those in government must mean well for Kenya. But there are no citizens who are in the opposition or Kenyans who are in the other side. It is only these leaders who have a job to do something in parliament. But all Kenyans are on the same side. We belong to one nation and we have one goal to make Kenya a great country that we can bequeath to our children who will come after us.